Hey, Welcome back, it's your boy Heater and the flow sick with the whole fever. It's your boy Huss, you know that we live. Now drop a like and then be sure to subscribe. We're back at it like a bad habit, reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen. Yo, We're yeah. doors on a mission to limit the demon that's living inside. Uh -huh. Much love to the big homie Joey, we thank you for giving your pledge. Now enough for the track, it's time to react. We're ready for what happens next. ジュリオクが最適化され、術師となるのはこの国の人間限定。ジュリオクが最適化され、術師となるのはこの国の人間限定。ジュリオクが最適化され、術師となるのはこの国の人間限定。ジュリオクが最適化され、術師となるのはこ
age of great battles. Let the cursed energy roam. Let it flow. Dark stuff. Big demons. What just happened? What's happening? It's the next day. Some people have no idea what happened, bro. Oh, yeah. Most people don't. Mm, they're everywhere. People getting ate up. Right, trying to take them off the map. That's what the brain was saying. I want to see it. Mm. They about to get killed. Come here. Dang. Oh, man. You're just watching the news. <laughs> Whoa! Dang, you're talking about an incident beyond what Sakuna did. It's even oh, worse the now. The whole country's hot. Ooh, somebody getting snacked over at the convenience store or transforming. We're just getting it in for the free. All right. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, it's a big power outage. Basically, the apocalypse. All right. We're living in the end times here. Ooh, She's being tempted. An assist. Couldn't see those before. That's the enemy. No. See? She's a snack. That's Mom Dukes. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You trust her? Nope. Okay. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> she a thug, though. <laughs> yeah, she great. built for this life. She's different. Please give me something to drink. Get this Gatorade. Please defend yourself. Mmm. Thank you. Working overtime. You too. Uh, I didn't want to say it at first. Finally. Did I scare you? Mm, she came into town for wherever she is. Yep. Oh, he's still alive. Bye bye. Who did it? Rika. <laughs> right, don't look at that. It's gruesome. Yeah, oh, Rika. She's back. Don't overdo it, baby. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. Mm. She got her own squad. Talking to the elites. Tanking it now. I don't think Tanking. Talking about Edadori? Mm. What? Who did? Oh, that's his dog. Cut off his arms. I guess he's talking about Sukuna with the cleave technique. Who? Gojo has been deemed an accomplice. Wow. Expelled. Death penalty. Trying to frame him. Keep him sealed away. They want that. Death. Who's that? For being a teacher, Who's Yager, Yager, the principal. Oh. The suspension on Yuji Itadori's death sentence hereby revoked. Kill that boy. Promptly. Get him off the streets. The murderer. <laughs> you the. Oh. oh and he might have made a pact with him. So he has to do it. He made a pact with who? He said for your pact, he was talking to the elites. He had to put it on something. And they won't get dead too. Or the brain. Clear. That's gonna bring all the action. He got a technique? No, he's gonna fight the whole city. Oh, time to eliminate curses. 
on his job. That boy a monster. Who, Inner Dory? Ghetto. Oh. What he just did was the most pettiest thing he could do. Wow. Yeah, because he wants complete chaos, bro. That's the Joker mentality. Yeah, for real. I, I can't create anything strong enough to get what I want to get done. Only chaos can create big things. He wants the golden age for sorcery. That's all. And chaos is the best do so yeah. right. Even when the countries want some get back or to try to eradicate the problem here before it spreads, their energy towards the ideals of killing off sorcery and cursed energy is going to generate curses. Hateful Stronger curses. Stronger curses. Strong curses because it's predicated on genocide, eradication, murder, death, kill. So you're going to create some new entities. You're hating your own now at this point. Too. Yeah, yeah. And it's rare that cursed sorcerers develop in outside countries. You know, Miguel's an anomaly, I guess, out there in Egypt or Cairo or somewhere in Africa. American cursed sorcerers are a rarity. They ain't really got a lot of intel on how to deal with this. And then... He done scouted and put his mark on people with cursed potential, but they live life as non-sorcerers. He was able to read something in their DNA. So that just shows the brain, he's even more meticulous with it. But they either get transfigured or turned into curse users. And it goes back further than 150 years. He said he been grounded for a thousand years. Then you got Tengen's barrier kind of keeping it concealed in Japan, but if he kills Tengen, then the barriers are dropping. It'll really spread throughout the world. And you got the government, they know what's up. Go public with the curse announcement. What? Yeah, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Right, right, they gonna freak out. But then that time, anybody in the surrounding areas near these curses are getting snacked on. So then you got Yuta working with the elitists that Gojo hates. You know what I'm saying? He hates this circle of elitists. They brought him in from the field. We need you now. Yeah. Come in here and clean this mess up. And it seemed like he was trying to prove his loyalty by being the curse slayer, but well, we need you to go the extra step. Do you see what that boy Sakona did? Kill him too while you're out there. And he wants that get back anyway because our big dog got his arms cut off in the incident. Who? Inu, the megaphone user. Oh, he got his arms cut off? Those are his arms missing. I saw his face like, he, yeah, yeah. Did he live? He lived? He lived, but he got his arms cut off. How did he get his arms cut off? Sakuna did it? Sakuna, when he did the donation of the domain, he was in the area. Mm. He was in range and got his arms cut off. Probably used his hands to block. Dang. And got him evaporated. Yeah. So it's personal for you. Because that's his dog. dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It really is. One of his big three. From the jump. Uh -huh. He didn't have many friends. Uh -huh. Not to mention they were on a mission together. Just them two. And, you know, I got it out the mud with my guy. He showed me some things. That's my boy. And off the strength of him, I'll kill Itadori. Mm -hmm. I don't know that dude. I don't care if that's Gojo's student. Yeah, for real. What does that go. mean? They done sent Yuta to hunt down Itadori. Oh, and Yuta still got Riku. I thought Riku was done with after the movie, and he lost that capability to use her, but. She looks smaller and uh, like a little flying dragon now. Nah, that was, what you call this dragon still, Yuki? That white dragon, and she was talking about, I got allies and stuff. That was her talking. That was her talking when I saw it. Yeah, so Yuki was like, you see what side I'm on. I don't work with the elitists. Because the elitists control the sorcery high schools or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why she don't want to be associated with the schools. And she got allies on the side. The brain said he ain't trying to kill off nobody. He wants everybody to be in this thing together. But we want pure chaos. And it's beyond me. I need people to go ahead and make plays of their own. So I'm going to give them all the tools capable and necessary to open up a gate in their mind to control cursed energy and develop it, put in bad situations. It was going to spot a few uh, cracked out UGs through yeah. this chaos. He said over a thousand of them. Evil editors, though, because this stuff about to make them dark. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make them kill each other, really, because so much dark stuff's going to develop mm -hmm. and their goal to survive. I tried doing it with the embryos and my kids, but you strong, and I'm looking forward to more from you, but... This ain't what I want, though, because Itador is going too hard to eliminate curses. Right. I was looking forward to seeing what you do in there, buddy. Chozo, all he wants to do is protect his brother. Right. And if his brother don't want to do no evil killing humans and stuff, I failed as a father. I don't like the philosophy I'm seeing from y'all, too. Mm -hmm. But I got something for that. Right. We're going to start from fresh. Put them in some bad situations. Pure pressure. The incident was beyond what Sakuna did. Sakuna was bad, but really it's the brain that put everything in disarray. Mm -hmm. By capturing Gojo, plotting for a thousand plus. When he did what he did with Mahito's ability, he put them in that barrier 
that activated their marks. Yuki was like, you don't know that nature though. She hit him with the Batman pitch. You know, the Joker thinks everybody would turn and get chaotic. And Yuki was like, but what about the human heart, the spirit, the right. love? They're gonna come back and kill you. <laughs> That's why Itadori was a failure because he has a heart of love. Trying to kill you. That's why he's impressed with Itadori though. Itadori's still an anomaly. Cause even with Sakuna in him, he's able to house Sakuna. That's what he did to Mahito that he's really tripping off of. Ghetto himself, the brain? You had Mahito down bad out here. Oh yeah, that's the fact impressive. that you had Mahito like that, yeah, yeah, for sure. That Sakuna factor was a major part of that because you know, if he could touch Itadori, it would have been a wrap a long time ago. It was quick with it, he had him. The Sakuna times. factor saved Itadori for sure. That's the only reason he was able to box. They reinstated the hit on Ghetto because they thought he was dead, but here it is, he's alive. Now who reported back to them? You know the elite know what's up. Mm -hmm. From the families that were sent out there, you know, they had the Zenin out there, they had the camo bloodline, they had a whole bunch of people out there, the sorcerers, the schools, people we ain't never met before. Yuki is against them. She's doing her own thing and she's assembled her own team. Hopefully the principal's underneath her wing inch now. Who, Yaga? Yeah, because he's a rebel now. He needs to go ahead and find a friend. He's a wanted man. They got him marked for death. He can't go home. They said, if anybody tries to free Gojo, instant death penalty. That's a crime. Mm. The hell is you doing? The streets are safer without Gojo. That's not a priority. Because they didn't like Gojo being there because they couldn't control Gojo. He was too strong for him. They were scared of him. Scared of Gojo. He was honing him and talking about overthrowing him. And he was just trying to build a nation with the ideals to overthrow the corrupt ideals of the elitists. Them wanting to kill Itadori. That's accurate was a smart decision. I can agree. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the same token, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to destroy Sukuna altogether. Or at least good enough to keep him under control forever. Not nah, the fact that if you give him 20 fingers and he kills Itadori, then the curse dies. Cause nobody could destroy a finger. Gojo tried to destroy the finger. He couldn't destroy one finger. Oh. The only way for it to destroy it is inside of Itadori. That's why him having all the fingers, that was the plan. Find all 20 fingers, collect them, and then by dying, you'll kill Sukuna and save the world from a lot of curses because curses are getting stronger because of one finger. A finger being in the area will open up little curse portals and stuff and curse wounds start to develop. And special, they special brains too. Curses start looking for the finger, they sense it. And then when they eat it, they get stronger and Ghetto is talking to Sukuna. You see what I'm doing, bro? Golden age. Mm. Remember that era? Get out here and do something crazy. I just want chaos. Mm. Let's get the golden era of sorcery and combat and bloodshed started again, man. And he wanted Jogo too. He did. He wanted that one. He was sad he was not there for the funeral. Right. <laughs> he ain't say much about Dagon or Hanami. Right, which would have been great too. That would have been great too, for sure. They were problems. That's what makes the brain so tough. And once they got the mark, they fell into a deep sleep. So he got the hospitals filled with people that's been in a coma. Who are waking up. Oh, like Megami's sister? Mm. Megami's sister might have that mark and that's why she fell asleep the way she did. Oh, she wakes up. It's dumb. She fell into that coma. Now, I thought she fell into a coma because of a curse she that Megami blood, helped huh? rid under the bridge when he fought that curse womb entity and stuff. Oh, it's making my I brain. think he had freed his sister from that. But I'll kind of keep that in mind and look back again. That might be the mark that Ghetto put on her though, and that's why she fell into a coma. But I thought she woke up after that event with Megami. I thought he freed his sister. So maybe not that one. He got away too. Yuki didn't do nothing to stop him. We didn't even see Yuki fight! That sucks. Dang! The dragon was straight though. <laughs> it saved us from Yurime, and Yurime was hurt because even though she healed herself, there was poison in that blood from Chozo because he uses poison within his blood bending. Bro, the studio went crazy with this art. Oh my God, yeah. Episode after episode, it was a banger. Like, this arc is one of my favorite arcs of anything I've watched. This was a lit 23 episodes of a season. You know what I'm saying? 23 episodes of gas. Even going back to Mekamaru fighting Mahito Every and his fight. Gundam. You know what I'm saying? Like that was right after the first five episodes with the fire backstory and how Gojo elevated. Toji, the fight with Jogo and Sukuna, Sukuna stint, Jogo turning up, Sukuna and Maharaga, seeing Megami's technique be unveiled finally after teasing us for the last couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. Seeing him go there on anybody, willing to go there on anybody. We lost Nanami, possibly no bar. It's not looking good with no bar. It's tough, so Probably not. Yeah, Toto's alive. He just lost his hand. Uh -huh. And his other hand was singed. He made it sound like Boogie Woogie's gone, so he might have lost his ability then. So he might have had to retire, but him and Itadori versus Mahito, 
Fire. Itadori versus Mahito. Itadori versus Chozo. Yeah. Nanami stunting on Barbie that episode. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of gas this whole season. Everything. Every scrap. Major developments. Gojo pulling up, killing Hanami. Whooping on Jogo and them in the station in the subway area, trying not to kill the citizens before he got sealed. If he would have just went there, man, it was cut through with it, squad wipe real fast, we wouldn't have an incident, bro. There would be no curses taking over Tokyo. If Gojo just would have went on ahead, domained everybody. Screw these kids' lives. The brain included. He could have put everybody in the domain. And scrambled their breakers. It would have been best to get Jogo off the streets before he fed the fingers to Itadori. That would have been a reasonable sacrifice. It's tough, and there was a lot of innocence there, and that just plays on Gojo trying to, you know, be the best him with the lowest amount of casualties. Shame. Him having a heart for the nine sorcerers. Shame. That was part of the brain's game plan, though. Mm -hmm. you know I knew you were gonna try to keep them humans alive. Bring as many humans. Bring he don't even humans. do what's capable for him because of people being around. In the midst of Itadori being a wanted man, he's taking his time to continue doing what he told Mahito he would do. Kill curses. I'm on y'all next. He got a lot to try to compensate for. He gonna try his best too until he pass out. Yeah, he might try to rid all of Tokyo solo dolo. He's gonna try to squad wipe the entire city. Just to try to make amends for this, but all hard. of it wasn't his fault though. Oh, but you know what? It's all his fault. Itadori beating up Mojito allowed Ghetto to be able to activate his plan with the optimization plan mm -hmm. with the sorcerers that he had marked because he was able to use the idle transfiguration once he had Mojito to really activate the mark he put on him. And who's to say he didn't fight Mojito himself but Mahito probably would have took off. And plus the resonance, he needed Nabara for that. There were a lot of factors that weakened Mahito. The Nabara factor hurt him and made it possible. Mahito was fighting to the death against everybody. Loving it. And loving it. That's why the brain was crunk too. He was like, because of you also pushing Mahito? Mm -hmm. That made me even more dangerous. Mm -hmm. The fact he was out there using black flashes, mm -hmm. elevating and growing, he must have been watching for a while. Dope season, looking forward to the next Holiday Boys route. Between us, the scale is so vividly obvious. While in the studio, I become Uber, and then I start treating the beat like the mafia. Yeah. Luther Daenerys just holler Jakarta's, cause fire's proceeding from haters and sophomores. Me and my partners are represent Charlotte, the city that's North Carolina's metropolis. And we've been patiently waiting to display our greatness, showcasing our lyrical dominance. And it be